Hi everybody, my name is Jasivan Carvalho. I live in Ecuador. I'm based in Quito. Right now I'm in Quito. Uh, I run an, uh, an ecotourism tour operator called Tropic Ecuador and we've been working in Ecuador for the last 25 years working with indigenous uh, groups and communities from the different ecosystems that we have in this country and I'm very excited to, to welcome you uh, to my country and enjoy a few minutes of conversation. Well, at Tropic, we've been working in rural areas and with local communities for 25 years. It's part of our DNA. Actually, the way we started our business was with the main intention to create uh, an ecotourism venture that would support uh, conservation and uh, social inclusion and poverty alleviation within this uh, economical industry. So um, I believe that uh, we have a responsibility to integrate and support local communities. We have many examples. We have worked in the Amazon rainforest with indigenous groups like the Waurani and the Sequoia, where we have supported the development of, of ecologies and ecotourism experiences uh, that, that would show the Amazon rainforest through the eyes of the locals. In the Andes nowadays, we have a range of, uh, actually is a network of local artisans. They're doing different things, you know, from straw hats to textiles to, to painting workshops. And we have supported them to develop their artwork into an experience for our clients. So the way we see this is that, uh, the cultural expressions, the art expressions of our countries depend on this amazing heritage that we have that belong to the local communities. So in a way, we really need the cultural heritage of, of our country to be able to highlight the beauty and to convince uh, travelers from around the, the world to, to visit us. Well, according to my experience, um, tourism is probably the biggest opportunity of economical development for the rural areas. You know, in the rural areas, there is a lot going on in terms of agriculture, uh, but tourism can generate additional income for the households. And the beauty of it is that it's not an invasive economical activity. Actually, tourism would like only to share experience, to learn from the lifestyle, to learn from the area where these people, the different people live, right? It doesn't matter if it's in the high Andes or in the Pacific coast or in the Galapagos Islands or in the Amazon rainforest, like in, in, in these are the regions that we have in Ecuador. So I believe that tourism and the rural uh, lifestyle is actually the essence uh, that would bring meaningful experiences, authentic stories to, to travelers coming to countries like Ecuador. Well, in order to develop ecotourism, community tourism, or, or, or tourism in rural areas uh, around the world, I think the, the most uh, important element is to develop the trust. Uh, as a tour operator, you have to be welcome to work in these areas. And I think the way to approach uh, the opportunity for both ends is that to speak clearly, you know, tourism is a business, is a win-win relationship. And, uh, and I think that we must stop seeing the local resources like cultural resources or even natural resources as resources, you know. These are components that are part of our business plans. I think that destinations and companies like ours have to consider local partners and not just rural communities or, or communities that we go and use and show to the world. These communities are the owners, they are the guardians of their culture, they are the guardians of their land and they should be considered as partners. Um, so I think that's, that's the key to, to any successful ecotourism venture that would consider a community as part of it. I think that in order to protect uh, the local communities from uh, the predatory uh, economical or extractive industries or even tourism uh, that could become too invasive, I think that the biggest uh, opportunity we have is you know, sustainability. I think uh, bringing best practices for sustainable travel is, is what's going to bring harmony and the balance between obviously the economical return that everybody's expecting from this business, but also uh, how sensible is the development of these activities uh, in front of the local communities and how is going to be the relationship, the controlled relationship between the local 
local community as well as the visitor as well as the business or the tour operator that is involved and obviously the impact that we're going to bring into the natural areas where usually these rural communities live you know as soon as we find the balance we have a successful and a potential uh, opportunity to develop a, a tourism activity in the long run which is i think the biggest and most important component of sustainability especially uh, nowadays and i also feel that that's the kind of authentic and meaningful experiences that our clients will be looking for post covid so very excited to be here very excited to be sharing and celebrating this tourism day with all of you thank you very much for the opportunity and i hope to see and welcome you in ecuador really soon bye bye